So that's where you lived? Yep. This is Pankwanka. Okay, so if you come out to here quite slowly, you don't have to use brakes, see? You just slow down. And this is 40 odd years ago, so you just carry on. Didn't even use a brake by then. So I'm coming down here now. In three quarters of a mile, turn left, then enter roundabout. And it's about, I, I'm, no, I'm in third gear, I suppose. Just ambling down, nothing coming. And there's a nasty little bend coming up now. So about you, I decided to break. And there aren't any. <laughs> no breaks, and you're eight and a half months pregnant. No breaks. So now I'm thinking... Eight and a half months pregnant. Change, change gear. Change gear's getting faster and faster and faster. And it's getting faster, so I try to change gear. Not very successfully. Still no breaks. Still good building speed. Keep your foot off the clutch, man. Right. Luckily, there's nothing coming. I had to slow down there for a car. You could see the speed and just building up, building up. This is a very built up area here. Anything coming, I wouldn't have made to stop. So, uh, what kind of gear do you think you might have been in? I think I'd be still in third. Oh, here we go, Roxy. Uh, we would have had a smash. Straight ahead on that would have been. But there would have been less cars there then in them days, wouldn't there? Yeah. So still going up some space, pace here. Yeah. Now I've got to make a left turn. <laughs> ahead, yeah, left uh, turn ahead. And this is fast now. This is really fast. Turn left, then enter roundabout. And uh, this junction has been remodelled. I'm going to have to stop. All right, pa pause that. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened there? How many, how many pairs of knickers did you need after that? I don't know, I just... I, I can't tell you what I was feeling. I think it was numb. Right. Okay, so we're taking a left turn at some speed. I can remember screeching around here. Screeching on two wheels. Right. Well, this has been remodelled. It's made it, uh, it was steeper. At roundabout, take second exit. No. 40 years. And this yeah. roundabout wasn't here, so Margaret. Margaret would have had to have go, gone up there. We are now Next going this way. In one and three quarter miles, turn left. I said this is all new road. Wouldn't have come this way. So I would have now come down from the left down that street there. And gone up that hill. And I'm still trying. Oh, you came down here, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, there's still no way to so stop. Now back on the route. The car is still doing as fast as possible. And I look turn ahead right. and there's a the hill. Right. Um, which I, I, the only option I've got is to go up. And eventually the hill stops me which I managed to put the handbrake on, sit back and shed a few tears. <laughs> By which time I had to go into the school now and pick up Andrew. <laughs> you didn't drive the car round there, did you? No, turn I had to left, walk. Then turn left. So where'd you dump the car then, up by here? Yeah, it? probably just, it, it would, as I said, there wouldn't have been so many cars around 40 odd years ago. Uh, and I would have just um, managed to put in on the side there. And then there used to be a little gully up here before the houses came along where you could go down the side to the school. So uh, that's it. That's uh... School's up there, was it? Yeah, this house. Oh, I thought it was the other side. Turn left, then turn left. Wow, what a gutsy lady, eh? Well, I don't know about that. I think so. Still here. <laughs> Still here to tell the tale. And, and more to the point, Kelly is as well. <laughs>